What keeps me going is ambition, just wanting to make it, wanting to do things, wanting to make something out of my life. I just like creating things, like I, I can't help it. I just love making beautiful things. My name is Nancy Zhang. I go by the alias Arrived Late. I'm a freelance illustrator and designer based out of Toronto. I would describe my artwork as cute, futuristic maybe, and aesthetic. <laughs> Being a single child, I was lonely a lot, but I, I loved drawing and that really kept me preoccupied. Didn't really go to like summer camps or anything. So again, I'd be at home on my computer, making things, creating at an early age already. In high school, um, obviously I had demands from my Asian parents. Um, they wanted me to go to um, a university. So for me, um, I still wanted to stay within the arts and design. Going to OCAD was kind of a compromise for them where I can still do what I wanted, but be able to get a degree, which is at that case, illustration. Um, during high school, like did all my portfolios and they were helping me out with like the prep work too. As long as um, I, you know, went to school and, and was able to graduate, they were okay with whatever I was doing. drawing process before was very traditional so it would entail you know initial sketches then I would paint it or draw it but nowadays I'm using all digital so I draw everything create everything all on my iPad and that change obviously is because you know with the technology has you know caught up and being improved over the years I feel that it's, it's so much easier to kind of draw and pump out work Yeah, the process is still the same. I still draw everything by hand on my iPad and then color, outline everything on there as well. And then that's pretty much it. Whereas before, it's like I got to draw it, paint it, then make sure, you know, the finish is fine, which is still great, right? Um, but for me, I, I just really love that like graphic polished look. So I feel like digital arts is kind of where I, I fall into right now. In terms of um, all the subject matters that I draw, so yes, it's all females, all girls, just because they're pretty, right? Girls are pretty. I love, you know, makeup and, and fashion, obviously, and I try to kind of incorporate all the stuff that I love, which is that, and, you know, I love exaggerating lashes and like playing around with like the pinks and the, the bright colors. Being someone in the arts, obviously you just love color period you love all colors right there isn't like one or two colors that you kind of just stick to i mean for me i just wear mostly black but that's my favorite color but um in terms of like my work um i use a lot of pinks a lot of light blues purples i would say it's almost strategic um, I wanted to use colors that will make me stand out and I try to constantly incorporate those colors into, you know, each one of my work so that people when they see it, they recognize it, right? Even if it's like not a portrait of a girl, it's, it's like, you know, something, you know, aesthetic, like a, an object, right? They can still see that, oh, okay, it's drawn by so-and-so, arrived late. It, it really goes with the whole like, you know, lo-fi kind of city pop look that, that I've been going for. I'm very inspired by Vibe Music. Um, that's largely where I get a lot of my inspiration or ideas from. I listen to a lot of hip-hop, R&B, um, as well as, you know, some of the more niche 
genres like um, lo-fi, vaporwave, like that kind of thing. Whatever I was listening to, I felt like that inspired me. That was the mood, and I tried to do, to, uh, to kind of execute it in that kind of way. And and I just love the look of like the 80s and the 90s, even like the 2000s. And I tried to bring some of that flavor back. They're just so cool. Like the phones, like they're just so bulky and. And then you got like the records, the vinyls, like like everything back then just seems so much cooler now. I mean, yes, you have like all the sleek things of like, you know, the, the 2020s, um, but I don't know, it's just everything just seems so much dreamier, you know, the nostalgia factor. At least for me, I always look back on like all the things I used to use, like floppy disks and stuff. Um, those things are just so useless, but so necessary at the time. My partner has like this vintage analog TV. I'm like, don't throw it out, we have to keep it. I wish I, I, I still have my like cassette player. I found my like Spice Girl tape the other day. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna treasure this. And that was the like only two other tape that I have. You know, like little things like that. It's just something about holding on to, to these kind of things um, and, and, and trying to live through it. Outside of influenced by music, you know, and, and this and that, a lot of the inspirations from from Japan. Um, I love the culture. I love, you know, all the all the stuff that comes from Japan. Like, you know, obviously anime, manga, um, even their fashion. You know, every every aspect of it, it really influences my work. And then part two of that, I'm, I also really love sci-fi. I don't know, I guess I just love a bunch of different, like different subjects that don't really match together, but I try to. And I just want people to, to, to feel like, wow, like I wanna be there because that's personally where I want to be. Everything is so dreamy, everything is aesthetic, it, it's chill, like you can just relax, almost like you're at the beach summertime, you know, like that kind of thing. Anything that makes you feel good, um, you know, that's what I want to cover. That's that's kind of what I want people to, to get out of it, or what, at least what my work is now. <laughs>
and just wanting to be happy. Like I, I, I wanted to be happy and proud with what I'm doing, you know, something that mattered to me and made a difference. Maybe not in the world, but you know, it made a difference for me and the people around me. So that was definitely a huge motivation um, to, to get back into art. And I feel like I wouldn't be here without, you know, the support of my family. Um, because if it weren't from for, for my partner, for my family, um, I wouldn't be able to do this now. Um, I'm on Instagram, obviously, and that's arrived late. Um, same handle on TikTok, on Twitter. Um, what else is there? Pinterest. I'm on YouTube now too. Well, I'm, I'm starting to get into it, but people don't know it yet, but maybe by then when this is out, it will be. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs>